All right, we're going to get started with our workhorse here today. Workhorse is a really cool tool. We can use it for a lot of different things. The first thing we're going to start off with is our up and back drill. So when you're ready, I want you to work on bursting out to that line and getting back in a hurry. Good. Bursting out. This is a multiple change of direction drill, so we can really work on any direction we want to for any sport. For example, we can turn sideways now, and now we can work on our lateral movement. Lateral movement is really pretty critical for every sport and everything you do, no matter if it's football, basketball, baseball. We always have to work sideline to sideline. We also have to get backwards a lot of times. So if we face this way, we can work on our drops. Go ahead, get back, keeping that eye on the ball. It's good defense to play, whether you're on the basketball court, tennis court, no matter what it is, you're always going to have to get back and play a little bit of defense. The next thing we're going to show with this workhorse here is progression runs. Drop back five right here. All right, so the first thing we do, we're just going to work on getting off the ball, working on that first step explosion. Go right ahead, good. Getting off the ball quick, great, great, great. Good job, good job, good job. Nice, 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 nice. Another great drill we can do right here, we're going to work on shuffling and running. Chest up big, butt down low. We're going to shuffle out as fast as we can for five yards, open, and explode out. Good, 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 good. Walking back under control. Good. All right, the next drill we're going to work on, we're going to work on our scrape and fill. What I want you to do is I want you to burst to that sideline as fast as you can, and then we're going to change direction and get downhill in a hurry. Get downhill. Good, 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 good. Nice job. Nice job. Come back under control. That's good. Now, make sure we got a good two-point stance. Nice and low. Scrape nice and low. Burst downhill in a hurry. Here we go. Ready? Go. Scrape nice and low. Burst downhill. Good, 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 good. Nice job. Good, good, good. All right. Another great lateral movement drill with the workhorse, two 25-foot cores is a sandwich. So, we're going to shuffle. Go ahead. Bursting out to the side. Shuffling. Good. Back. Good, good, good. One more time out. Good. Good, good, good. Back to the middle, good set, good job, nice job. What we have now is we have our release trainer along with the workhorse. So I'm going to give you some resistance. We're going to work on a good forward lean. I want you to get those knees up, turn them over quick, and then I'm going to release you at five. Go, knees up, knees up, that's it. Turn them over, turn them over, turn them over. Good, get out of there, nice job, nice job, good. And another great drill with the release leash, we're going to work on a shuffle and run. So here we go, nice short, quick shuffles. I'm going to let you go at five, here we go. Shuffle, 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 and get out of there. Nice job, nice job, perfect. Another great tool to use with our workhorse is the spider web. Imagine this body's a four cylinder engine. We want to drive these four cylinders, being the elbows and knees, as fast as we can. So, when you're ready, keep the RPMs high. I want you to turn those legs over as fast as you can. Here we go. Go line. That's it, that's it, that's it. Working on that good knee drive, that good elbow drive, getting down the field as fast as possible. Nice job. Also, if we just want to focus on a good forward lean, staying low, coming out of our 40 start or coming out of the blocks, we can hook the spider web up high, and this will allow us to really work on a good forward lean. So we're going to work on the same thing again. Good knee drive, good elbow drive, really lean into it this time. That's it, that's it, that's it. Good, 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 good. Nice job. That's perfect, that's perfect. Good job. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to start off with a reaction explosion drill. When I give you the mark, I want you to burst up to this cone as fast as you can. Get back under control. Ready? Out here wide. Good. Burst up. Back under control. Good. Get out. Get out. Good. Out wide. Under control. Good. Back out. Nice. Nice. That's it right there. One more time. Get back out. Get back out. Good. Good. Good work. All right. Now we're going to work on a little pass rush right here. So I want you to get off this line on my movement. You're going to get off the line, work a move, get upfield, make a sack. Ready? Good. Nice job right there. Nice job. Let's get one more of those. Here we go. Ready? Good. Nice job, nice job. I want you to just hit me with a few passes. What I want you to really focus on here, Corey, is driving that hip through, all right? The really most important thing with this drill right here is we're working the hips, we're exploding through the hips without altering your natural QB throw. So you're just gonna hit me with a little quick pass right here, drive through those hips, good. Really come through those hips, drive through those hips. There we go, here we go, one more, one more. Good, great job, great job. Another cool thing too for our kickers, I just want you to go through your motion and drive your knee up. All right? Yeah, there we go. Good, good, good. That's perfect. Let's get one more. Good, good, good. So you can see, I mean, we can just, we can go all day, but that's just a few things we can work on for you. All right, Bradley, we're going to get started with some workhorse drills, and we really like to use the workhorse with our basketball players. It helps put resistance in those real game time movements that we don't get to simulate anywhere else. So the first drill we're going to do, I want you to post up, square up to the rim, and drop it in, really working on exploding through the hips and attacking that rim. Here we go. Nice job. Nice job. And right now, you got about 80 to 100 pounds of force on your hips right there. And, and so if you can do this drill right now, imagine how much easier it's going to be during game time. Nice job. Nice job. 
And not only are we getting stronger, we're getting bigger, we're getting faster, but at the same time, we're working on our good fundamental techniques that are so important to the game of basketball. Nice job. Bradley, here's another great drill we can do with the workhorse. Let's work on defensive slides. Nice job, nice job. Let's get it one more time. And you can really feel how we're working the glutes, the hamstrings, the quads, working all those muscles, again, protecting our body from injury, prehabbing for that long season ahead. Nice job, nice job, nice job. You can attach it to the resistance cords, the flexi cords, eight foot, 25 foot cords, 45 foot cords. You can do over speed training with it, lateral movement. You can do jumping, power. I mean, basically almost any movement you can think of. The workhorse is great for so many different things, including volleyball. So right now what I want to work on is a first step explosion drill where we're going to get to the middle and pass the ball to me. Nice job. Nice. Perfect. All right, next thing I want to work on is lateral movement. So this time we're going to explode to the sideline and pass the ball back. Perfect. Great job. Great job. All right, now all we have to simply do is just reconnect the workhorse and we'll work on driving our hips through our serves. What I want you to do is take your approach and work on your spike. Ready? Perfect. That's it, let's get one more. Nice job, nice job. Here we are again with the workhorse, and right now we're going to work on some baseball-specific drills. So what I want you to work on right now is exploding off the line in a hurry, fielding the ball, and getting to a good, ready position. Perfect, perfect, perfect. What this allows us to do is really train those game time movements again, really work in putting resistance in the movements that we're going to be doing on an everyday basis. Not only can we work on our fielding, we'll work on our base stealing a little bit. So why don't you throw that glove off and let's, let's do a few base steals. I'm going to get up, get set to pitch, and when you see the opportunity, I want you to steal second as fast as you can. Nice job. Nice job. Here we go with another one of my favorite drills with the workhorse right here, and this is a bat swing drill. And what we want to focus on right now is really driving those hips through, driving all the way through the tip of your toe, and throwing those hands through nice and fast. That's it right there. Really drive that hip through all the way through your toe. Good. Good. And what we see with training this way is by putting resistance in that movement, what we're going to do is we're going to go to failure in that movement, recruiting more explosive fast twitch muscle fibers. And then when we're done, we literally are more explosive when we finish than when we started. So great job. Let's get a couple more before we get out of here. Nice job. That's it. Perfect. 